Hey guys, it's Hiker Guy, and we're back with another episode today. So today we're gonna be talking about mushrooms again. Woohoo! All right, so today I happen to be walking around and came across some small pear-shaped puffball mushrooms. Now, some of you may not be familiar. Some of you may be with the puffball mushroom, but these aren't quite what you're thinking, more than likely, because these are, as I said, pear-shaped puffballs. They're not your typical field giant puffball mushroom. So what I have here is, in fact, our pear-shaped puffball mushrooms. As you can see, they're quite small, but they are a very delicious little meal. Um, tastes very much so like the giant puffball mushroom and can be found all over the place. So they can be found in fields, but can also commonly be found in the forest. And like I said, are very different than our um, giant field, you know, puffball mushroom. Um, there also is another variant known as the gem studded puffball. Now I know this isn't the gem studded A because of the shape and also because it is a much darker outside um, and it does have a little bit of that pear shape. It's got that little bit of a stem at the bottom. Um, gem studded tend to be a lot, uh, a little bit more stemmed than that even and they have much more of a white appearance on the outside with a bunch of little black studs on the top. So that's how you can tell the difference between the gem studded puffball and what we have here, the pear shaped puffball. Now there is another um, variant of a, the puffball mushroom that I really want to talk about today and that is the earth ball mushroom. Now the earth ball mushroom, the reason I want to talk about it is because it is a poisonous variant. So if you have what you think is a gem studded or a pear shaped puffball mushroom, the first thing that you're going to want to do, especially, um, you know, they happen to tend to grow in clusters, is just take one of them, that's all you need to do is just one in the cluster and you want to go ahead cut it open and make sure it's got this nice white interior. I don't know if you can see that very well on the camera there, but it is in fact very nice and white. If this was an earth ball, that would be a much darker purple color or even black color. Now, puff balls, um, they happen to create their spores on the inside of the fruiting body and then release them at a later given time. So when your puff ball starts to create the spores on the inside and you cut it open, sometimes there will be some yellow or dark brown variation on the inside. At that point, the mushroom has gone too far into its stage of producing its spores for the season and it should not be eaten as some of those spore producing chemicals can actually be toxic to your body. Um, I really wish that we had a few more variants to show you, so next spring hopefully I'll be able to get out, find all three variants, or you know, all four variants, including the earth ball maybe even, and I can give you a side-by-side -side comparison of the different types of um, puff ball. But for now, unfortunately, that's all we have today. Um, so I hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and turn on that notification bell for more videos in the future. Um, and just one last thing before I go is, um, you know, anytime that you're out and you're hunting mushrooms, if you're not, you know, um, as well versed in it, definitely either try to bring a field guide, somebody that knows what they're doing, or just make sure that you're, you know, being very safe and following the steps that I just gave you to make sure that you have the proper mushroom before you decide to eat it. And also remember that whenever you eat wild mushrooms, even if it is a non-poisonous variant, it doesn't mean that your body is going to handle it well. Many times when you eat a new wild mushrooms, it, it's, it, um, you should definitely um, go ahead and make sure that you're, <clears throat> um, it's suggested that you go ahead, you make sure that you're eating just a small amount of it, and then you go ahead and you wait a couple of days in between to see how it makes your stomach feel. If it gives you any kind of a stomach upset, it's probably not suggested that you eat that mushroom in the future. Um, once again, just uh, see you later, guys. Don't forget to subscribe.